majority of these claims that are coming from all these different pods, do you do them collectively, or are you trying we, to do them one on one? Yeah, we are. We are doing them collectively, but each one stands on its own. Individually, stands on its own. Yes. For instance, those people uh, along the Eighth Fairway there, in Pod Thirty Six, it, it is not acceptable to them, and wouldn't be to me either. And by the way, I should suppose I'm an appealing property owner. I got my own 2012 appeal filed, and I'm going to file for 2013 too. And I'm not going to settle with the county if they can offer a decent deal to offer everybody else uh, uh, settled. But each property will stand on its own. And, and it, for those people in 36, you know, it's not going to be good enough to simply say, okay, we won't charge it. You know, we'll reduce it by 15% so you don't have to write us an additional check for what you, from what you've already paid us. They, they need to get their property values more down from that $105,000 level down to where, you know, at least the golf course lots are now uh, and some of the other um, primo lots are, like in Pod 1A, more down the range of $50,000. And I, I think there are some of them, I'm not going to give away, you know, the confidential discussions in a room like this, but there are some of them that could live with a little bit more. But um, just, just, uh, Bring a hundred five thousand dollars, bring a few dollars out of, out of that, and putting them down in the ninety thousand dollar range or eighty thousand dollar range is not is not going to be acceptable. So they're in a different they're in a different staffs, but there are, there are plenty of others who are appealing, and you know pod three, pod twenty eight, uh, pod one B, uh, even though they may not have really high numbers attributed to the, to their lot, I still think we can do some good for them. And uh, so uh, anything that we can shave off of that number will be less that they have to pay, not just for the appeal year, but for the, for the next two years. But, but you are, they want to live with. excuse me, you're, you're basically able to, to yeah. go after groups or pods or, you're not doing this on an individual basis, going to these meetings. No, what's going to happen is. It's least, group by group. No, we're going to, we are going to, the, the county is, and I have agreed, and the clients have agreed, that we're going to set aside about three days to, uh, first of all, educate the panel members in about a half day's time about what Sunset is all about, and just get them up to speed. And then, uh, one by one, each property owner's uh, valuation will be addressed to, to the, the, the panel. It'll make you know. It'll take about ten minutes, uh, ten to fifteen minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some fairly, um, I think, expensive blow blow ups uh, done on people. on poster board to demonstrate you know like the, the resales and give them the background on the resales and why that's a, a better comparison than using this computer system as appraisal and that sort of thing. But it's going to and I, the other thing we're not gonna we're not gonna do. We're not going to play off each other. We're not going to cannibalize each other. We're going to, we're going to use uh, other homes that are not appealing as a basis for comparison. And believe me, there are plenty. There's plenty of ammunition for each one of the property owners to make a compelling case that their property, vis-a-vis -vis others that are not being appealed, uh, are, are overvalued. So, uh, I, could, I could run through these uh, these tips real quick. Be sure. You know, check your neighbor's assessments. You all go online on the county, the California tax assessment websites and just look at the at the property report cards and compare uh, and see what your, uh, you can pull up their 2013 assessment. It's right there. Uh, that can be opened in a, in a PDF and uh, review and see what the, uh, the, uh, the valuation was. Use units of comparison size per square foot. Um, this is something actually we can spend a whole hour on the coefficient of dispersion versus dispersion. You need to understand this kind of words from and without getting into sales ratios and the coefficient of dispersion uh, too <laughs> deeply, I'm just gonna tell you that that's an important concept that you need to understand uh, because the, the COD cannot be 10% uh, of uh, uh, less than, um, or it should be at, at, at 
10% less of the coefficient of dispersion. It's higher than the median sale ratio is under line. Can you um, imagine the guy When you negotiate with the Board of Tax Assessors, <laughs> uh, don't play all your cards. Don't put them all on the table. Hold, hold back uh, uh, some of your information. Um, give them three sales that support the value that you think your house should be at. But don't give them all because they'll use that information from you to prepare to um, to defeat you uh, when you bring that up in front of the Board of Equalization. So hold back um, some some of your evidence um, in the case you can't get an acceptable result by negotiation with the Board of Tax Assessors. And finally, be willing to compromise. You know, two plus two never equals four down at the courthouse. That's what I always told my clients. You know, uh, a, a case may be worth you know hundred thousand dollars to 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 one set of uh, jurors or judges may be worth one hundred fifty thousand to a second set of judges or jurors, um, or it may be worth zero. So understand that there's risks inherent uh, in in this appeal process, just like in any contested legal matter. And uh, if you send signals to the board of equalization that you're you think your house really ought to be valued at, you know, 180000 uh, whereas the Board of Tax Assessors has it maybe 225000 but you can live with like 190 or 195 uh, That is something that they will appreciate. I think they really want to do good for property owners, but you gotta, you got to give them uh, a way to, to get there so that they feel good that they came up with, 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 a, with a fair result. Um, should you proceed with other Sun City residents or by yourself? I've already made reference to it. We got this other group together because we thought there were strength in numbers. If we could make a coherent, persuasive presentation, we can demonstrate preparation of most of the Sun City PC residents to fight. Uh, it puts the county at risk of its scheme to shift higher property values to Sun City, and it allows you know, you've got to give your legal opponent a, a reason to uh, to work with you. And it, but it, it allows the county to dispose of numerous appeals by making adjustments that are acceptable to all. So um, that's that's why we sort of sell this group. Um, and I, you know, if you're interested in joining it, um, what what does it cost? Uh, if you if you were to hire you know, somebody who does uh, quite a bit of this, there are plenty of firms out there. They, do not have to be represented by an attorney, but these other firms, like this one in Atlanta, Fair Assessments, which they, they charge a $250 upfront fee, non refundable, and then they take 25% of any tax savings on the back. Uh, this one does basically the same thing. I can't read it, but I think this one they, they charge like $195 upfront, and they take 30%. Um, this one does about the same thing. And there's me. <laughs> Don't laugh, but I charge forty-seven dollars. <laughs> and and uh, and that's just because I think that's what's appropriate. I, I, I'm, I come out out of pocket with expenses to try to make an effective presentation for my clients in front of the board of equalization. And if I do good for you, then you know I'll ask you to uh, you know, pay twenty percent of the tax savings. And if I don't do good for you, if I don't say you done, I don't make another dynamics. Forty-seven dollars is really all all you, you have to risk. Um, I mean, if your situation doesn't improve, I don't remember the time. There's no further expenses unless, as a group, you decide to hire an outside professional like an appraiser. I don't think that's necessary. And um, uh, here's a nice endorsement that uh, one uh, former client wrote describing it. And if you want to uh, uh, work with me, I'll, I'll, I'll send you, just let me know, I'll send you an email telling you the relatively small amount of documentation that I need from you. Um, the assessment of bills for each year, your hearing by just in 2013. I'm actually, I already got your assessment. Uh, but any of your assessments and bills for the year prior. Um, Pokey's contract, if you have your, your house constructed, there's a thing called the job initiation order which breaks down how your home uh, price was arrived at. I think, yeah, here's mine. And uh, 
it's, it's this thing up here. I, I, I got, they also put that on the, um, on the change board. Uh, so if, whether you had that job initially to pay a $45,000 premium, I didn't do my lot of work with that $45,000, I thought they just put about twenty five thirty. But uh, my wife wanted all these upgraded options. And they, they, they uh, took the ad machine out and added up all the options, and then they whacked off a bunch of it to get to the number that we can both live with. But they wanted to maintain some precedent on the lot premium, so they, they plugged in $45,000. So that's that's what it is. If you're interested, uh, again, I will, I will, you sign those appeal forms and I will hand carry them down there. If you don't, I, I would like to have some written communication in terms of whether you want me to, to file it or you're going to file it. I don't want this to fall through the cracks and some of these appeal not get filed because of some silly miscommunication. So if you want me to hand carry that appeal form, you don't have to retain me or anything. Just leave it over there and I will uh, generate an email communicating it. I'm going to file this for you. Now, if you want me to do carry on yeah, further from there, I can say I got a retainer of forms here, you know, checks, credit cards are accepted, that sort of thing. And um, either now or in the course of the next few days, we can, you know, we can do business.